in jesus name we pray we cannot finish the prayers without looking at the the where and the how praise god where have they written what they have written concerning you where have they written and how have they written your prayers will not be complete if you will not pray the where and the how okay i just want to read you two scriptures uh job 19 24 job 19 24 uh they are talking about something there and they are saying okay 20 23 23 says oh that my words were now written oh that they were printed in a book mm. that they were graved graven with an iron pen and lead into the rock forever job was talking this guy here was talking about i wish my words could be written with an iron pen a pen iron but it's a pen praise god mm. and then in the book of uh, daniel the famous one i want you to see something in uh, in chapter five eh? when this king was celebrating oh hallelujah chapter five verse five daniel five five in the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall uh, of the wall of the king's palace and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote mm -hmm. when these guys were you know they were getting drunk and they were doing everything something you know the hand of a man without the rest of this the you know just appeared and it started writing with a finger and it was writing against the candle that was on the plaster that was on the wall of the palace praise god mm -hmm. so you can see one is writing in a in right writing with with a with an iron uh, pen mm -hmm. Another one, it's the finger that is writing. Another one will write with the tongue. Somebody will write. And they will not just write Msonya in a book. They will spread a curtain in space here before me. Like, you know, the way they do vroom and it's a curtain. And they will remove their tongue and they will start writing with it. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So if you're praying against somebody, you know, I told you uh, demons, they are intellect you know when you read uh, matthew chapter 12 jesus is teaching about the demons and he says when an evil spirit goes out of a man it will walk in um, in dry places seeking for a place to rest then he will say to himself you know that spirit can reason can have can hold a conversation with itself it will speak to itself and it will say, I will go back. I will go back to my house where I came from. And that house is you, praise God. So this demon, it has logic, it can reason. So let's assume the person who sent the demon is dead. It does not need the person to command it again. It can reason on its own that it does not want to be evicted and it will not respond. So uh, 
some some can write using you know if the demon came through pen the reason why i'm saying that and you're praying against and uh, it came through a pen of tongue they they you see the bible says my my tongue is like the pen of a, a ready writer you see the tongue can also be a pen so maybe it is written in tongue and when i say written in tongue is not just spoken words declaration i'm talking about the tongue literally wrote and they said if pastor veronica will know that this verdict was even sealed and written in tongue then she will break this spell but when will i even think like a witch when will i even want to know what they how how they how they were writing what they were writing you see christians we don't want to be bothered so where is it written that's another thing they can write it in the heavens they can write it in the ocean on the waters they can write it in the rushing waters they can write it in that well that you see outside your home that's where they went in and they wrote on the bottom of it and they said the day she will know it's written here so where is it written you must send forth your word you see when those people were sick and they were near death and they cried unto the Lord, he sent his word. So you can also send your word via the power of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to go to any tree. You don't have to visit any rock. You don't have to go under any ocean, but you can send forth your word because you are a creature of power. You are spiritual and you have angels at your service. You can command the angels that God has commanded to take charge over thee to go to move to the heavens, to erase anything, to search the land of the living and of the dead and find any material that co co contained uh, or holds anything that has anything written about your life. Let it be erased in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Uh, I just want to pray that you're getting this because the where and the how, that is, that is uh, what I want us to pray. And I know we are against time. So where is it written praise god and how was it written we must start with where and then we will finish with the how praise god so where is it written so you are going to pray any place on this earth in the outer planets under the earth in the heavens that has anything on it that has been written against my life against my destiny against my marriage just release the power that is in the blood of jesus christ to go and blot it out in the name of jesus erase it until there's they can no longer remember you because the, the records that contain your name contain your destiny they are going to be erased in jesus name i want you to go before god and pray in jesus name <laughs>
now you have the flow that is how you will pray so how was it written what was the weapon of darkness used is it the pen of a human finger is it a pen made of iron and rod, whatever it is, steel, wood, feather, uh, whatever, pray now. There's no weapon fashioned against you that is going to prosper. Any you finger of darkness that has been used to write evil against my life in the name of Jesus, I render you powerless. Destroy every weapon of darkness, every tongue of darkness that has been used to write evil against my destiny in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed by fire. Every evil feather. Hallelujah. <laughs> 
Tierra la mande que revea. Tierra la mande que revea. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Mate Rabos de Carabos and Taraba. Itaraba Boya Mazeka Rabbe Shetaraba. We thank you, Jesus. Let every evil that was written against your life through satanic and weird pens applied by evil children of darkness. Today, as we are prayed, let it be erased, let it be destroyed. Let us never hear of it again in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether it was written in any tree, under any tree, inside any tree, on top of any tree, written in demonic pots, written in satanic bottles, written in the curtains of the heavens, or Reba Shalamamaya, written on the sea bank, or Rima Zekarabo Shalabaya, written inside mountains or inside rocks, whatever and wherever it is that they have applied demonic writings against you. As we have prayed in Jesus' name, we render them all powerless. Whatever yes. pen they have used, we destroy it. Whether they use pen that are using human blood for ink, we render it powerless in Jesus' name. Whether it was written by iron that was full of fire, we erase it by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. We declare and decree that satanic writings over your life, they cannot succeed. Because the word of God says, there is no weapon that is forged against you mm -hmm. that is going to prosper Jesus. in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless Amen. you. Stay blessed. Amen. Continue Amen. in prayer. We cannot exhaust these Amen. prayers in one hour, but now you have the knowledge. Walk with it in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. See you on Monday. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. Thank amen. you, Jesus. Bless you. Hallelujah. Bye bye. Bye, Nazarene. God bless you. Bye, Pastor Veronica. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you for the Jesus Christ. Thank you for the word of you.